Hey, what's up, people of YouTube? Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to get Magic Workstation. And you, you've seen me use it a couple times on some of my duels. And today, I'm just going to teach you or show you how to download it, actually. So, the first one, oh, I also want to say I'll have all the links in the underbar. This one, first one is Magic Workstation slash downloads.php. I'm going to do this with y'all. The whole thing I'm actually download it and stuff, so I'm gonna be cutting in and out so to show you. So the first one is Magic Workstation Downloads PHP. You go right here, it says Magic Workstation dot point nine four F. Click it. Since I have Chrome it shows up right here, save it somewhere. It's downloading. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay right here. So system requirements, Windows 2000, XP, or Vista. I'm not sure if it works on Mac, so we will see. Let's see, hold it up. Yes, I allow, I trust them. I've used it before, so there's no point. Next, agree. Um, it's going to save the program to c slash program file slash magic workstation pretty easy stuff remember where it is though if you save it anywhere else remember where it is because we're going to use it later create a desktop icon You have no additional game packs installed, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So push next, and do not launch it yet. Just unclick it and push finish. Next, you're going to go to um, msgames.com slash index.php slash main page. Again, I have the link in the underbar. What you want to do from here is go down to right here. It says MTG card database. It's up to Rise of Drazi, so click on EXE or whatever. Yes, I trust them. I used it before. It's fine. Open it up. Yes, I I trust them. Push next. And it what it did was just uploaded all of the cards to Magic Workstation. So now you should have a little symbol that looks like this as a magic workstation. Double click it. This is where you're going to be building all your decks, um, looking at every single card and everything else. So it's all right here. And like You can build decks from scratch or net deck or whatever. When you click on it because this is the um, unregistered version, this will pop up. Just click OK. Not a big deal. And here it is. Here's every single card. You notice though that right here it has no picture. So the next video I will show you how to get a picture on all of them, or every single old card before even inside, even before. So yeah, but yeah, here it is. Just mess around with it. You can you. This is basically done, but to make it look pretty, um, yeah, you need a little more. See. So yeah, next video I'll show you how to make the pictures appear so it draws on it but this video is how to get pictures on it um, the website you want to go to is mwsdata.com again I have the link in the underbar and you go right here to how to set up the workstation to show MTG pictures and then go right here crop pictures up to evening tide go right here to mtg crop pick setup exe Click it. Yes, save it. Now this one's gonna take a while, so what I'm gonna do, because it's every picture MTG's ever had up to EV Tide, so it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause out of here and I'm gonna come back in a little bit so so I can walk you through the next step. Okay, now it's finally done downloading. Here it is. EXE. So what you're going to do is open it. Yes, run. 
Um, this is going to take a little bit, but I'm just going to stay here with you. Um, this is what the crops look like, actually. They're just little pictures. Like, here's the full, the full thing. It's blazed and the whole picture. That's the full picture scan, but for the extended cards, I like to just use the crops. Because I don't play extended that much. And say the mood strikes, I can see the picture. But for the standard cards, for everything in standard, I like to allow. For everything in standard, I like to use full scan. So yeah, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But for right now, we're just gonna do the crops. This pops up, push next. Look, pay attention. It's gonna what it's gonna do, it's gonna save a pic save a folder that has a folder inside of it that says crops, and inside that folder it has like 5,000 crops of all the old magic cards. And yeah, so here it is. P pay attention where it's going to save it. Mine's going to save in the C drive. So I push next and push install. And if you pay close attention, you can see every single card ever made pop up right there. Okay, now that's finally done, um, you just click finish, and all the photos are in the spot where you downloaded them to. And now here comes a more, not difficult, but just you have to remember everything you've done. So go to where you saved your photos. Mine was in my C drive, so let's go there. And so right, MTG pics right there. And then inside this folder, you can see the folder that says crops. So click on that. And here's every single folder with pictures. Let's see. Let's go inside this one just to show you. See, here's all the pictures of all the magic cards, the crops of them. So yeah, so what you want to do is click on one, push Control A to select all of them, select all of them, sorry, copy it, and then from there you want to go back into where you um, set up MTG station, Magic Workstation thing. So mine was in uh, Program Files, where that's the standard place. So you should yours should be there too, unless you change it yourself. Then here it is, Magic Workstation. So click on that. And then you have all this stuff right here. And then you click on picks. Then you click, you get on there, and there should be an AM right there. It just don't delete it, don't just ignore it. You right click and push paste. Continue. Continue. And what this does, it's gonna move all the photos into that area. Again, this is gonna take a while, but let me explain it for a little bit. This is going to move all the photos you just downloaded, move them into here. You just paste them into this folder. And what that does is you see the little 5E e or whatever, 6E. E. Each card has a little three letter or two letter thing on it. And what it does, it matches itself up to just different ways and stuff. I don't know the exact way it works, but that's how it works. So yeah, just let that do its thing. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, now that you've moved all the all the pictures that you downloaded to the folder, um, all the crops you downloaded, I mean, next you want to go to um, mwsdata.com. Again, I'll link. Then you go right here. Um, what I'm going to do now is teach you how to get... I'm sorry. Um, what, I'm, what I'm going to do now is teach you how to get a full picture scan one that looks like this blaze right here and what you do is you go right here to slightlymagic.net.form and you push control find or control f you search the set you want the full scan so i'll do magic 2010 see and it pops up right here so um you click it and what you want to do before you do this is sorry I got ahead of myself is push new control or push new put a new folder up put full fix or something like that and yeah just so you have it there it's gonna be of use later and just click to download it and right now it's downloading so I'll see you in a little bit